There you go, bro. I'm just saying. I was, I was just saying, right? Come to the stage. We got some newbies again. Everybody excited about some newbies at Mulligan's Landing for our 12th consecutive week in a row? Still pulling up some new fucking comics up here? That's what I'm saying. He's a funny motherfucker. I saw him Wednesday at the Square at Apple, who Shelly, she hosted the show. Right now, Shelly did a good job, Shelly, and I enjoyed it very much. Come to the stage, though. He goes by Kevin Crowley, ladies and gentlemen. How's everybody doing tonight? Yeah. I promise I won't leave you hanging. Well, I'm newly single. I know what all you guys ladies are thinking at the same time. How is that possible? It just says. I think it has something to do with the fact that I don't match, but I really don't care. And uh, my roommate convinced me to get on this dating website. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of it. It's called Plenty of Fish. <laughs> Damn! Have I ever sent you a message? <laughs> What's up? <laughs> but how many people out here have like MySpace, Facebook, anything like that? Anybody? Oh, come on. Come on. I have a little bone to pick with big girls, man. They all take the same picture. Have you guys all seen this? It usually starts way up here. <laughs> but no, but there's some talented picture taking big girls out there. I'm telling you, they're top heavy. So they gotta lean forward, but not too far, they might fall. And not too far back, they might show the belly off. So they go like that. And to finish it off, they stare off into the distance. And this is the killer right here. Every last one, they pucker their lips out. <laughs> Twelve more and I got a MySpace. <laughs> but I want a woman that can spell. I swear to God, you ever text these women? Not a single one of them can spell a fucking word out there. I, I swear to God, I, right now, if you're gonna send duh after any text message, you better spell every fucking word in that text message, right? I got a text message, literally, verbatim. I space N-O space duh. I know duh. Okay. <laughs> well, as long as you know, <laughs> I don't have to tell you, man. But it gets bad. You know, when your friends ask you to come out, and you start calling a girl by her screen name, <laughs> Your friends are like, come on, let's go out to the bar. I'm like, no, I got a date tonight. Uh, they're like, with who? <sighs> Vegas girl, 1984. <laughs> I did a little bit of time in college. I know, it sounds like jail, right? I did a little bit of time. But it was like the most boring time of my life. <laughs> For some reason, the only friends I could find were like the inventive potheads. I was, you know, the ones that sit there and they're like, all right, so listen, man, I was thinking. They've been smoking all fucking day, mind you. This is nine o'clock at night. I've been thinking, man. What if we bred a chicken with a pig? Like, I don't know, man. It's like we get charred, man. We're like the ultimate white meat. Like, but they compare everything to pot, man. Everything gets compared to pot, man. He's like, what about the guy that crossed Alaskan Thunderfuck with cat piss? You're smoking Thunder Piss right now and you don't think he's crazy? I'm like, all right, brother, relax. I ended up living with one of those uh, inventive potheads. His name's Jose. He's my roommate. He's Mexican and he's a pothead. Go figure. <laughs> but one day we're sitting on the, on the couch. I don't know if you guys watch like the nerdy channels, like Discovery Channel and Science Channel or anything. Anybody? Yeah. I know I saw more white people in here. Yeah. <laughs> and we're watching a special on robots on the Science Channel about how the Japanese are making these robots that can almost think for themselves. You can push the motherfucker over and catch his bill to keep running. You know? And my roommate's getting mad. 
And I'm like, what's going on, Jose? Why, why are you getting so upset? He's like, fuck Robux. <laughs> what's all the uh, hostility for, Jose? <laughs> he takes another hit, he goes, they're just gonna come here and take all the jobs. <laughs> Better get in the unemployment line right now. <laughs> Anybody here have kids? Yeah. You guys are all horrible parents. Where are your kids right now? <laughs> it's so easy to try to date when you're with kids. Because you're like, oh, let's just get the kids together. Where do you take them? Chuck E. Cheese. And I'll tell you right now, that place is a breeding ground for fucking failure, man. I'm not kidding. You walk through the door and the daily slot aggressive is above the ski ball machine. <laughs> <laughs> they walk in there, they act like they're 80 at Arizona Charlie's feeding for quarters. You're like, I need tokens. I need tokens. I'm like, all right, well, fucking you ain't eight yet. You don't need tokens yet. The little Middle Eastern kids selling candy cigarettes in the corner. <laughs> trying to make tokens. <laughs> little kid opened Chucky's Pawn Plus. Where do you think I found my kid? Pawning his Batman watch for two tokens. Come on, man. Two tokens. Come on, man. No, not the one, two. But who is the most ruthless motherfucker in Chuck E. Cheese? It ain't Chucky. It's the motherfucker behind the ticket counter who thinks he's got the bombish drugs in the world. <laughs> you want a Twizzler? 40 tickets. <laughs> I start doing the math. I'm like, it cost me $22.50 to get those 40 tickets. <laughs> so my kid starts crying. I'm like, go ahead, get the Twizzler. He gets the Twizzler. He looks at it. It's half a Twizzler. Half. I said, that's what you get. There's a lesson in life. You don't buy drugs off of people you don't know, or else your sack is going to get pinched. <laughs> I'm a satellite installer. And... Uh, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm white as hell. Can anybody tell that? No? I know I look Mexican, but... <laughs> they think it's funny to send me to the ghetto. Any day of the week. And not just a regular ghetto, the deep ghetto. I know you guys know what I'm talking about, where the pigeons don't get out of the way of your car. They just walk past and mean mug the fuck out of you. <laughs> Kids are wearing hair nets and Chuck Taylor and shit. <laughs> That's all my time. You guys have a good night. You've been a great crowd. Thank you. Kevin Crowley.